Hey YouTube, what's going on? My name is Misty May, and welcome back for another Pokemon video. Today we are discussing this gem right here, the Pokemon Trading Card Game Battle Academy. This product is a little bit of a weird item, in my opinion. Um, it's unlike any beginner-based product to teach you the TCG. It's unlike anything I've ever really seen, and I've only really been playing the card game very casually since uh, Black and White Plasma era, so circa 2011-2012-ish. Um, and I've never seen anything like this before. Although, um, if anybody else has, feel free to, you know, let me know down in the comment section. Um, and I would be happy to discuss that with you and learn more because I am relatively new to this kind of stuff. Um, I've been, I mean, I've been collecting the uh, trading cards for years, um, but as far as like sealed product and all that other fun stuff and uh, the other aspects of collecting, I'm fairly new to, so I am very willing to learn. Um, anyway, that said, let's get to the product uh, description of the uh, Battle Academy. I will be reading it off of uh, Bulbapedia. Very good website. Uh, check it out. Has ev just about everything Pokemon on there that you could think of. Absolutely fantastic website. Um, join the Pokemon trainers at the Battle Academy. Prepare for a Pokemon battle with the ready-to-play Pokemon trading card game Battle Academy. The Battle Academy includes everything two players need to play with guides so your first game is easy to follow. You can choose Charizard or Pikachu to lead your team in a heads-up battle against each other trainer. Or, battle against the other trainer. Stumbling over my own words. Apologies. It's one of those weeks. Then, switch up decks. Switch up the decks so you... To play Mewtwo against Charizard or Pikachu and lead a different team of Pokemon into the arena. With a little strategy and a little luck, you can battle with the best. Um, if I had a good theatrical voice, I probably would have read it in that kind of voice, but I don't. Um, this product is very interesting, and it, it, it caught my eye because I know that it's based off of the Family Pokemon card game that was released in Japan in March of last year, um, which has some of the cards... Uh, some of the cards from those decks were actually reprinted in our Hidden Fate set back in September, August, whenever Hidden Fates came out. Um, yeah, so those cards were printed, reprinted uh, in our Hidden Fate set a while later. Um, I'm still a little bit uh, befuddled as to why there was such a large gap between uh, GX Ultra Shiny and our Hidden Fates. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's not what this video is about. This video is about this gem. Um, there's the back of the box, the side, front again, other side. Um, as you can see, the plastic on here is very, very nice. Um, it is going to be in my sealed product collection. Um, I'd like to try to get another one. Uh, I only paid like $21 for this, which I was really surprised about. Um, so, for that alone, heck yeah, it's going to go in my sealed collection, but I almost would like another copy of it to open and to kind of just, uh, take the little booklets and the guides and stuff out, um, because I actually have a whole binder, if anybody's interested in seeing it, of, uh, Pokemon trading card game literature with, like, the pamphlets from the theme decks, uh, the little inserts you get in your pre-release kits, uh, etc. I can show it sometime if you guys are interested. Just let me know in the comment section uh, what you guys want to see. Um, and we'll go from there. So, uh, let me real quick just read uh, the information on the Family Pokemon card game. It's essentially the same thing. It was just released a uh, little, these two products were just released a little over a year apart. Um, I'd like to maybe someday get my hands on the Japanese one, um, just to say I have it. 
Um, and just because it, it's a cool item, um, I think. So, real quick, let me just read the description off of Bulbapedia, or the information. Alright. The family Pokemon card game is set is marketed at children and their families, introducing them to the basics of the TCG with inclusion of step-by-step -step guides and an assortment of new Pokemon cards with relatively simple attacks. Each set includes three standard decks focusing on the mouse Pokemon Raichu, in my opinion, the best Pokemon of them all. Give Raichu a little bit of love for me. The flame Pokemon Charizard, and the genetic Pokemon Mewtwo. Each deck focuses on two types and includes Pokemon GX cards representing each one, one of which fe features the focal Pokemon of that deck. The decks share a collective numbering system and set symbol. Each card also features a colored silhouette of the appropriate focal Pokemon to denote which deck it belongs to. This set also comes with uh, uh, two battle guides, a beginner's guide, a playmat, three color-coded deck bands to secure each deck, a set of 45 damage counters with three different damage values, two status markers, two GX markers, a large cardboard coin, and a deck box for storage. So, I can link these video or these pages in the description when I edit the video tonight. Um, if you guys want to check the page out, because uh, of course I stumbled over my own words quite a bit. I have slight difficulty reading off a of screen unless I'm squinting right at it. Probably ought to get my eyes checked. But um, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two products other than I'm looking at the deck list right now. And the English one that we have does not have, um, does not focus on two different types there, uh, one type only, um, which is fine. I mean, we got, like, the Charizard GX, the Raichu GX, and the, uh, Mewtwo GX, um, in Hidden Fates along with the Pinzer GX, the Gyarados GX, uh, the Wigglytuff GX. And I believe that it, those are all of the um, the family uh, Pokemon card game GXs that we got reprinted in our Hidden Fate set. I still have yet to pull the regular Art Raichu one from that set. Although at this point I might as well just buy it. Um, I don't know. But anyway, that is that product. Um, I just wanted to do a little video because I figure, I don't know, discuss a little something in my collection. Um, it was a little difficult trying to figure out what to say, how to present the product, so I apologize if this video was a little bit awkward. Um, I will try to improve and become less awkward and camera shy as time goes on. Um, and that be that. Um, if you guys like, uh, like this kind of content, smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. I upload twice a week. Uh, I've had very weird upload times, but I'm trying to my best to stick to Tuesday, Thursday, as well as balancing a full-time job. Um, actually, real quick, I'm doing a quick shout-out from somebody on Instagram that gave me some very useful advice this morning. All right, it's right here. Um, shout-out to Pokemon Maniac or Pokemaniac underscore Steven, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize for butchering it the first time around. For the helpful advice on maintaining an upload schedule and recording and editing on top of already working a full-time job. I'm very glad that I'm not the only one out there that does this and has to kind of learn to balance all of this. So thank you again, Poke Pokemaniac underscore Steven on Instagram for that helpful advice, I will um, link Pokemaniac Steven's Instagram in the descri video description below. Um, that is all for today's video. Again, I really, I'm very sorry that last night's video didn't get uploaded on time. I will have it up tonight, and then tomorrow I'll just be on the lookout for this video. Um, so if you like content like this, subscribe and ring the notification bell um, and remember to stay awesome and be the reason that somebody smiles today. See ya! Bye!